What happens after that index? What happens in addition to that index? Well, Google has a set of editorial policies. Now, if you know anything about this idea of editorial policy, you might think of a person, you know, who's looking over it and, you know, changing the grammar and fixing the spelling and all that kind of stuff. That's not what they're talking about. And furthermore, there's no way that they could do something like that. There's no way that they could do anything that requires them to look at any of these pages, right? There's just way too many of them. If it's not happening automatically by a computer that does it chunk, 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 then it isn't going to happen, right? It's so these editorial processes are really about checking against things like, for example, um, uh, checking that your page isn't on a list of pages that have been um, flagged as piracy or, you know, or plagiarism, stuff like that. And it can do all of these things automatically. So that's, ed that's, that's Google's editorial policies. And then the other very important thing that they do is attach more information to these pages so that you can search more specifically for them. So in addition to this index, for every page on the, on the web that they index, they're also attaching some additional information, for example, the language, the reading level. And again, they're doing this all automatically. There's some computer program that's scanning this page and determining whether it's, you know, uh, grammar school level, high school level, you know, college level, PhD level or whatever, and also detecting the language. Um, as you probably ha have seen if you've ever used Google Translate, it's not that hard for um, a computer to automatically detect what language a, a page is in. So it does all that stuff automatically, and it attaches also all of that data to the pages so that, those, for example, if you're only searching for pages in Russian, that it'll only look on Russian pages, even if there happens to be an English word on those Russian pages. Okay, so in addition to the indexing, taking all the words and making a giant alphabetical index out of them, it also attaches other information to those pages. The technical word for that other information is metadata, but I won't hold you to that term. But you may hear, hear that term, and if you go further in information science, you'll be hearing it all the time. Metadata is a big deal to us. Okay, so we're still on this, co this concept of what happens after the index, and now I'm going to zoom in again on this picture, and I'm going to give you an idea of, of what Google is saying. Uh, the search quality team and the uh, and the the web spam team review the review the uh, sorry review and refine the algorithms. This means that the team at Google is not actually looking at the pages; they're looking at the program that looks at the pages, and they're trying to improve that that program more and more and more as time goes on. Um, there are 10,000, according to this, 10,000 plus testers that are that are rating the quality of the results and the quality of the searches. They're not doing anything to the pages. They're just trying bizarre searches and seeing, does it work? Does it make sense? Um, Google solicits spam reports from users. So if you see a page and maybe that page is pornographic or something, or that page is a, a pirated page of your work, you can report it to Google. Google will put it on a list, and that page won't come back in search results. And then Google gets uh, DMCA, that's Digital Millennium Copyright Notifications, to take down pirated work. So there's a place they go. And they find all the pages that have been auto, that have that have been declared piracy, that have been declared page plagiarism, and they won't show those as e those either. So that's all the stuff that happens in addition to the indexing process. Okay, so far we have the general concept of an index, which is an alphabetical or numerically sorted list of terms, all pointing back to where those terms occur, whether what those terms describe. We have the Google type, which I said is this Mondo alphabetical index of all the words with pointers back to the web pages and the positions on the web pages where those, where those words exist. 